Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we are going to dive into Omega 4. And now you may have seen some of our other Omega videos. Click download on Omega 4 and seen that it does not look like it looked in our videos. Well, that's because recently uh, Omega 4 has been officially released. And recently, as in September 24th, 2013, is when version 4.0 uh, is officially available as a non-development release. So that's exciting because Omega 4 is a huge step forward for Omega. And now they say Omega 3 still exists. And it does. If you really like the experience of Omega-3, by all means, continue to download Omega-3 and use it. However, it's important to know that Omega development is going to go from version 7 and on. So development's not going to continue on 3, but as you may have known, uh, I mean, building sites with Omega-3 didn't really have any problems. So as long as you know how to use Omega-3, you can continue to create sites. You just have to know that there's going to be no more further development on Omega-3. Everything's going to be going towards Omega-4. Now, while you already know how to use Omega-3, uh, Omega-4 is the latest and greatest, and it's going to be um, pushed into Drupal 8 land. In fact, they're doing a lot of things that are in line with Drupal 8's guidelines, and, um, and it's really a wonderful, advanced new framework. So how is Omega-4 different? Well, in Omega-3, you had to do a lot of things in the visual interface. For one, you were assigning uh, regions to a grid within the appearance menu and then in your own theme. And then uh, basically you had to say, all right, this region is going to be on this grid. Well, that's no longer the case anymore because with Omega 4, you have regions just like a normal theme file um, and you're doing all of your grid work in your CSS. And now they assume that you are going to be using SAS. However, you don't have to. Uh, I would definitely recommend using SAS with Omega 4. In fact, I personally would not use Omega without it. And what's really great is that they give you the option of using a couple of different grid frameworks. Of course, you could use your own, but rolled into Omega is either the Suzy grid framework or the Singularity grid framework, both of which are excellent. And uh, they're both SAS frameworks. They both have very similar ideas. And now Singularity is actually put out by Team SAS, along with some other extensions that they've added in here. Um, in fact, we're going to go over all of those in dedicated videos, um, especially when we go over what files are included with. But there's going to be an additional functionality that comes with using SAS that's just going to make your life easier. And the added benefit of uh, really SAS isn't a whole lot more than actual just normal CSS. So if you are familiar with CSS, then uh, by all means, you should just dive into the SAS. You're not going to uh, really struggle picking anything up. Now, another cool thing is that they allow the ability to create layouts. And now layouts are basically a designated TPL file, like a PHP file with the, uh, the regions and everything in it. So now instead of doing all this in a visual interface, you're actually getting to go into the code in your TPL file and define where all your regions are output and the semantics of your code yourself. And now I really like this because I'm used to working in code and Omega 4 is largely in code. So if you're not comfortable in code, this might be a good way to familiarize yourself with some of the more inner workings of Drupal, some TPL files and stuff like that. So don't let that scare you. It's really not that scary. And once you get used to it, I promise you'll prefer it. Now, Omega 4 also has some great things bundled into it, like live reload support. Um, it has uh, Drush support, so creating a sub-theme is now through Drush. Of course, you can create it without Drush, uh, and we're going to be doing videos on both of those. I would recommend sucking it up and installing Drush and learning it uh, because it's really going to make your life easier. Again, um, these are all things that are just going to make your life easier. There's also 
compatibility libraries built into Omega 4 that if you need to support older versions of browsers or things like CSS Pi and stuff like that, you can just one checkbox and enable and they're there. If you don't want them, you don't have to enable them and then you're not going to have that uh, additional hit of, I guess, uh, file size from those different tools like Selectivizer. And again, we're going to go over all of those once we actually get Omega going. So uh, keep in mind, it says Omega should not be used with Omega tools and Delta. These, of course, are things of the past. These are Omega 3 tools. In fact, if we want to use uh, this contextual layout changing, we're going to be using Omega 4 layouts and context as a module. And we're going to go over that too in this course. So to get started, we're going to download Omega 4, put it in our site's themes, uh, or our site's all themes folder like normal, and then we're going to get going creating a sub theme. So uh, to do that, we're just going to, of course, click download. Uh, you can download the gzip and then unzip it. And I have my site here, site's all themes and of course I have no themes in here so I'm going to drop in this Omega file and this includes everything we need including an already made sub theme called ohm which you can tear through and look at to see what kind of cool stuff exists in there or uh, there's also the Omega base theme which you're familiar with which includes themes like things like starter kits um, so we have Omega in here now if we go to our Drupal site, we can come back here. We can go to Appearance. We can see that Omega is right here and our Ohm demonstration theme is in here. Feel free to enable and check out this Ohm theme if you like, but in the next video, we're gonna get started creating our own sub-theme of Omega 4. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts or on Facebook, pretty much anywhere. Check out our website. Uh, you know how to get a hold of us. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.